Hey guys, today we have more birthday cubes. So basically, uh, we have more birthday cubes, including the Rubik's uh, tactile cube over here, which we're actually gonna save for later. But we're going to get started with this, I think, Chi 6x6. So let's go ahead and open this up. So it looks like, just have a little pamphlet in here, and we have the 6x6. So. Um, I actually don't own a 6x6, so um, obviously this is my first one, and uh, I mean, just out of um, out of the box, it seems pretty, pretty. Uh, I mean, nothing like exceptional, obviously, but pretty good. Definitely better than like a V cube six and all stuff like that. I've, I haven't attempted to solve a 6x6 or anything, but I do know how to solve um, a 5x5. A four by four, three by three, um, and down. Obviously, except for a five by five parody, which I did know uh, how to solve at some point, but then um, eventually just um, kind of forgot it. So yeah, I'm sure I'll be messing with this. Um, and yeah, so I guess nothing much to say about that. So let's just move on to this cube. I do not know what this cube is. So opening this up here, um, looks like we have interesting shape mod actually i uh, don't know quite what this is doesn't say anything on the box uh oh sunway six axis cube um so this is an interesting cube we what the heck this is so weird it's like turns weird like on an axis which is um interesting um but uh one thing to not note about it is that it actually has this unique way of shape shifting, mainly because the way it's like built, it, it I feel like it shape shifts more than should almost. Like it's weird, um, but um, yeah. Oh geez, I'm, I'm sort of scared of this now. Um, I should be playing around with this more. Um, again, turning a little bit rough, but obviously not too bad for a shape mod. Um, definitely. Uh, Looks like a nice uh, cube um, or shape mod, I should say. And uh, the way it fits into my hands, um, it, it looked kind of, I, I didn't know it was gonna be shape mod because in the box it just looked like a like a cube. But um, yeah, so I'm super happy about this one. Um, I think this was gonna be like the most interesting one to uh, try to solve out of all of them. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, let's get on to what we've all been waiting for, the Rubik's Tactile Cube. Let's go ahead and open this up. All right, so I literally just spent like 10 minutes trying to get it out of the box, but it turns out that um, you can just like pull it out. Like I, I feel so stupid now. But basically, um, this is a Rubik's uh, Tactile Cube. So, you may be like wondering like what is that so basically it has these little like textures on it and uh basically you can just like feel around so you don't actually need the colors to solve it but i do assume that if you were to like do it blindfolded it would take um quite a lot more um like i guess brain power to uh, try to solve it um honestly i'm not gonna lie the turning is worse than a uh, normal Rubik's tiled cube. Um, I I don't see why that would um, actually occur um, because I don't think exactly that the uh, the layers are more heavy because of these textures. Uh, maybe it's just mine mine are like lubed better or something. But uh, for some reason, this is um, not uh, quite as a uh, good turning as my other Rubik's brands. So on the blue side, we have this um, nice like little blue button things in the center. Yellow side, we have these little uh, stick up prickly things. And this, um, we have these um, on the red side, we have these square indented things. Um, kind of remind me of um, a, uh, like their ridges on the, uh, GTS 3M. And then over here we have more ridges, this time in a circle. And then over here we have uh, these X uh, type uh, little pop-ups. 
and over here we just have the normal tile thing. So I honestly think this is an interesting, a uh, an interesting new cube. Definitely uh, interesting, mainly just to look at. Like if you're you're just looking at it scrambled up, it doesn't look like a like a like cube almost. It just looks so different. It looks like a lot more colorful and a lot more uh, nice and. It, um, it kind of gives more color to it. So it's really interesting um, that like people are coming up with these uh, pretty interesting inventions and though they n might not always be like the, uh, the best, they are definitely, they always add more uh, variety to the um, kind of cubing uh, speed cubes we see around uh, the market and stuff. So, for uh, these three, so for uh, these three uh, puzzles combined, um, if I were to recommend one, it would probably be this cube, mainly just because it's really nice and interesting. If you are really into any twisty puzzles at all, just turning this around, it's very satisfying, and it really seems um, really interesting to solve. And now, none of these have quite, um, the the amazing turning as like you know speed cubes or anything but i think they all add a nice addition to my collection um and after i lube this six by six i think it'll be ready to go and maybe i'll uh try solving it for the first time so guys uh thank you all for watching please uh subscribe and turn on post notifications we're really trying to get to 60 subscribers um within maybe the next month. Um, that would really be uh, awesome. Like if we could get to uh, 60 subscribers before uh, June ends, then I will do something really huge uh, for uh, 60 subscribers. So please subscribe. Make sure to turn on post notifications because I'm starting to post every single Wednesday and Saturday. And guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.